Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my kids' recent favorite books. And when I say books, I mean actual like novels that they want to read for fun. These are safe novels that have been pre-screened, pre-read, and very, very enjoyed by my two kids who don't like to read. If it's your first time here, welcome. Make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button because it really does help me and my channel out. Also, I have homeschool freebies down below in the description box for you, plus our free Facebook group full of homeschool moms just like me who love to talk curriculum all day long. Okay, so let's talk about my oldest child first. He is about to turn 14 in just a few weeks and I have a couple new books of his that are just his absolute favorites that I wanted to share with you. So first up is Trial and Triumph. And this is by Richard Hanala. I hope I said that right. And I got this off of canonpress.com. I will leave the link down below in the description. And this is, if you're around my age, then you probably remember the Jesus Freak books that came out Oh goodness, late 90s. I want to say late 90s. They were geared toward teenagers that had um, different stories of martyrs in them. This is like their grown up parents' book. <laughs> like, um, this is stories from church history going back all the way to the days where the martyrs were being um, put in the Colosseums with the lions. And this is such a great book. I have been reading it myself and this this is a faith strengthener. I will tell you that. Um, great read for um, for teenagers and for parents alike. Highly, highly recommend this book. I've only gotten about a quarter of the way through, but I have found my son reading this um, just for fun. Um, he loves stories. Uh, he loves true stories and he loves historical books about uh, church history. So this was a great book. Again, this was over at Canon Press and everything on Canon Press is just fantastic. So grab a copy here. Um, you can also get it on Amazon, but I personally would um, urge you to get it on Canon Press rather than Amazon. So my oldest child's next favorite series is these um these are by the same author same type of um same type of topic here so this one is um the finest hours i believe they made a movie off of this there is a kid version there is a teenage version and i think there is an actual adult version of this novel and there are several of these they're rescue stories and this one is from world war ii i believe um no, I'm sorry. This one is from 1952. This is from um, a sea rescue in 1952. Military style type of books. Fantastic. He loved this one. This was his favorite read of the entire year, this entire school year. So from a kid, a teenage boy who doesn't like to read, this is a great one. I will put the, the information down below in the description box for this. And then this was the newest one that just came out. This is Attacked at Sea. This one is the World War II one. I knew there was a World War II one. So there are, looks like three, three or four. So this is called Tree, True Rescue Series. So you guys can kind of see on the back. Hopefully that's not backwards for you. Um, these are New York Times bestseller books and really these are just great, great stories for boys. Um, these are some I'm going to be keeping for when my, um, my youngest gets a little bit older and these are really great character building type of stories. So let's move on now to my youngest who is 10. He has a couple series that he is so excited about and I can't wait to share them with you. You might already have an idea of what I'm about to share if you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> so the wing feather saga. This is, I have never seen my son who is not a big reader, but he, he doesn't dislike reading, but he's not a huge reader. I have never seen him so excited about a book before. He was waiting by the window for the 
follow-up books to this to this first one and I mean like waiting outside for the mail lady to drop off the package. I have never seen him so excited and it made my mommy heart just so happy. Um, these are decent sized books. The first one I believe is actually the shortest and I think there's 280 pages for this. I let him read this for a book report and within the last two weeks, he has read the entire series. The last book he is more than halfway through and it has over 400 pages. For a fourth grade boy, I cannot believe how much time he has invested in these books. He loves them. So he gives this just the biggest thumbs up ever. If you have, I, I really think that this is a good series for boys or girls. I would have liked this as a kid. These are the new covers. You might remember the older covers because this is not a brand new series. However, I think there is a book coming out um, at the end of March. We have already had, we already have it on pre-order, so it should arrive the day that it actually releases. Um, I believe it's in the next two weeks or so. There is a new one coming out and they updated all of the covers for like a re-release and now all of the new covers are in hardback. So grab a copy, listen to it on audiobook. Oh, I actually have it on audiobook and I was listening to it. Very interesting story. He really, really, really likes these. So there is another recommendation for you. Now my youngest other favorite series that he just went through so very quickly was the Night Zookeeper books. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know that he loves Night Zookeeper. We, <laughs> I let him play Night Zookeeper for about 15 to 30 minutes a day in the afternoon after school. Night Zookeeper also has novels and I don't think many people realize that. That's what the little logo looks like. And there is four in the series and I believe we're waiting on the fifth book to be released. I believe he was through all four of these books. You can see how thick they are. He was through them in about a week to 10 days. Um, doesn't look like there's, okay. So there are some illustrations in this. They make them kind of fun inside. So there's a lot going on in these books. Um, they're very fun books for boys and girls. Just a great series. He is, a, my son is 10, he's in fourth grade, he's about to go to fifth, and he absolutely loved these books. So give them a, give a Night Zookeeper a try with these if you're looking for some interesting novels for your kids. Now these I believe I actually got on the Night Zookeeper website before Christmas. So the shipping comes from the UK, but the shipping was very, very fast. I mean, even when the Christmas craziness was going on. They had these books on my doorstep probably less than 10 days after I ordered. So shipping was very, very quick from the UK. This is one that I'm sure so many of you already know, but it is the C.S. Lewis Narnia series. And my youngest is just starting to crack open the books to these. I have almost all of them. What order do you read these in? <laughs> So I, I have come to find out because I did not read these when I was a kid. I know, shocker. Um, I did not read these. I had no idea what the Chronicles of Narnia even was until a couple years ago. Um, and yes, I grew up in church. So <laughs> I had never heard of it. Honest, honest to goodness, I really hadn't. Um, but I have come to find out that there is a lot of controversy surrounding the order that you read these books in. So somebody tell me, like, what is the order that you read these in? I know that, like, you're supposed to read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe first, which I did, and then I think you go backwards to, like, the, yeah, the magician's nephew. Is that right? I think that's right. I don't know. Or do you just follow your heart with that one? <laughs> That's the only thing you should follow your heart on. <laughs> what, what order do we read the books in? <laughs> all right, so that is all I've got today for you as far as books, but hopefully you have some new books that you can put down for your book list for your kids, especially your kids who don't like reading. Um, 
we all have kids like that sometimes that just don't like to read. So here are some recommendations for you that you can get, pick them up at your library, pick them up online, go to thrift books, get them used, but some great literature for you and your kids. So I hope you enjoyed it guys. Let me know what is your kid's favorite book right now. Put it down in the comments. I would love to check it out. I love seeing um, book recommendations. So I, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Happy homeschooling and I'll see you in the next video.